It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dolphins and the Bengals. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 22. It is a city that traditionally gets much less snow than its Buckeye State rival up in Cleveland, but we are under a thick blanket of the white stuff here at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. This crowd loves their orange and black. The scene just a short time ago, they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the Miami Dolphins. snowy Cincinnati and we are underway from Cincinnati from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he will make it back to the 15 and that's it good coverage there by the kick team here come the Bengals now to take over and they'll be let out by the guy under center Charles their quarterback it's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, not, so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line. But I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run here's johnson again on second down and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game they get nine yards back on the run there and they're left with a much more makeable third and two Anderson steps away to his left and he will slide to a stop he does have the first down when they watch film of this game and hand out the great sheets he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play why he scrambles and picks up a first down but what else does he do protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit double plus big time play A first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now Anderson. Got his man on the out route. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before... Now Brian Flores going to take a chance here as he'll throw the red challenge flag. Challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Johnson running left. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. 
coming up on second and seven. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to throw, Anderson. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Back deep for Miami, Jalen Waddell. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no Let's return, go. Let's go. Let's go. and it'll be Dolphin football. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out there, their 6-5 quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his man complete. That's Clayton. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Second and two. Looking for the out route, and he's got more. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term got to make completion step up and make those throws and he did that and he is finally out of bounds but not before taking it down inside the 30. it's a big play there for miami oftentimes now offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by they just tell receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you and that's exactly what they did on that play first with the pass through the air nice chunk of yardage there and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A beautiful fake. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. No score after one on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming.
Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. He's got exactly what you're looking for. The ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. They'll set up a throw. That is caught at the seventh. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here we go now on first and goal. He'll look to throw. Touchdown, Dolphins! From six yards away, as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Now the try here for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Jennings now on the return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them, that's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's Johnson again on second down. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot him at the 44. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. I'm going back to you. On first and 10, Anderson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack, but that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Still 15 yards to go, second down. Back to throw, Anderson. 
toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. You definitely would have liked to hit on that one because now you've got a third and long showing up, and you just know defense is going to be getting after it. They are pinning their ears back, and they are coming. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Anderson. He wants it all for the end zone. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Here's second and ten. Back to throw here. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Cartman sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Harris has it over the middle. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards, now it's third and five. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. They'll look to throw again. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon.
This is brought in at the 21. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals set to take over. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting up third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Now Anderson on first and 10. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Curtis. And he's going to be dropped following a pick up of seven past the 30 to the 32. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so... And he can't escape, and down he goes. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout, so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now a handoff, Johnson. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. throwing here on first down. Under pressure, and down he goes. Geno Atkins got home that time. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And the defense obviously expecting run as well as they're going to shut that one down at the line of scrimmage. Some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 
And the return man will shuffle through the white stuff, secure the fair catch with both hands. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently, we're going to get right back to it. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Since we left you at halftime, the snow is still continuing to fall as we are back under. Looking into the snowflakes, and he muffs it. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, in the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Back to throw now on first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Vontaze Perfect. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting, you and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Anderson. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Second and 10. To throw again, Anderson. And the catch good, it's Eifert. Touchdown, Bengals! Tyler Eifert from 19 yards away. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Evan McPherson for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. away here takes it at the seven and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line here he 
is the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And it was his interception on the last drive that wound up leading to a game-tying touchdown. And somehow, you can make this a positive, though. You know why? Game tied now. So you're not protecting a lead, so you're not playing that way. You got to go get the lead again, so maybe it loosens him up a little bit and allows him to go ahead and be a little more free in his play. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Coming up on a second and six. They'll look to throw here. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage, coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Yeah. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Here's Anderson throwing on first down. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, meaning yeah. the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. No. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. From the gun, Anderson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Here's Kevin Huber now. He's been terrific so far. Yeah. Able to slither by. 
It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Miami's offense set and ready to go. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Second and six. They'll drop the throw. On the right side open is Gasicki. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That catch good for five. It's third down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. It's Clayton, and he's taken down inside the 30. Let's go. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. Nice in breaking around and put it right in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Geno Atkins able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Now back to throw. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. just yet as they come up on a critical third down. They'll set up to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to break our fourth quarter time. 
And his kick is good. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken just inside the 10. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. They begin the drive with Johnson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 36 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. And I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to throw. Anderson, throw left side complete. That's Curtis. They go play action here on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Curtis. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of. And in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of. Trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback. And he hits a big one right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. A toss left side, Johnson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Looking to throw, Anderson. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And just three yards on the catch there, he couldn't get away. And that'll bring up a third down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. On third down, Johnson. And all the way down inside the five to the four.
points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. Breaks a tackle, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Bengals are going to jump back in front. So a great second effort there as he's able to stay upright and get into the end zone. I think not just a second effort. I think a third effort was what got him in. Maybe possibly even a fourth. Yeah, whatever it was, he was not going to be denied. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive goes in eight plays. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. going to elect to not bring this up and instead his guys will begin at the 25 yard line so the Dolphins now down 14 10 just under two minutes to go they need a touchdown a field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10 receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bound. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And yeah, they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big play there for the Dolphins. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. Again, he finds more. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards, and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Jennings now on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Let's go! Let's go! And now all the focus, it shifts to the Bengals. Trailing by a field goal. 53 ticks to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. It's Curtis, and pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll look to throw. Throwing it at traffic there, and that's complete. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now Anderson, over the middle complete, it's Curtis. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Anderson. Complete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Back to throw again. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And this one is right down the middle. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So they had not called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Seven 
14 17 the score all even to this point as it kicks away. And with time a factor here late he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Cincinnati set to take over once again. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. As we said, they control their own destiny now. On first and 10, Anderson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Partner took a while for him to lock on to a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. 90 yards rushing for him now as he was just trying to run his guys to an overtime victory. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. Back to throw, Anderson. Here's Johnson with a reception. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Offensively, back-to-back 